The diagram GPT spelled as DAI is a tool that allows you to create various types of charts and graphs directly from the chart interface. The GPT takes structured data as input and generates a visual presentation as output. The diagram GPT allows to create visual representations of data in the form of various types of charts and graphs. It supports a variety of chart types including bar charts, pie charts, line charts, area charts and more. Click on Explore GPTs, enter Diagram in the search box, click on Diagram in the search results. To use the GPT, click on Start Chart. A bar chart is a graphical representation of data that uses rectangular bars to represent different categories or groups. For example, let's ask ChartGPT to create a bar chart to display the monthly sales. Enter this prompt. Start with the create a bar chart, the column titles and below that the sales data. Click on send message. Since this is a third party action and data is going to be shared with the diagram, ChartGPT asks to review the action. Click on confirm to proceed. A bar chart with a brief description is created. You will be asked to review the action every time you make a request. To change the setting to always allow the action, click on Diagram drop down on the top. Select Privacy Settings. Click on the drop down to the right of Diagram. Select Always Allow. Next time you send a request, you will not be asked to review the action. You can view the larger version of the chart in a new tab. There will be a link provided above or below the chart. To view a larger version of the bar chart in a separate tab, click on the provided link. A new tab is opened with the chart displayed. You can save the chart as a .svg file. Right click and select save as, name the file and click on save. The GPT generated the title and notes for the bar chart based on the column titles and the data. You can ask the GPT to change the title and notes. For example, enter change title to monthly sales and notes to sales in millions. A new bar chart is generated with the requested title and notes. Info sent to diagram. Click on talk to diagram above the response. The GPT uses the data in the prompt and generates a request and sends it to diagram. There are three main pieces of information. Version, the version of the diagram GPT you are using. Model, this is where you define the data you want to visualize. It consists of two parts. Nesting levels. This is an array where each element represents a level of nesting in the data. Each level has a name, labels, which are the categories in that level, and an aggregator, which is the function used to aggregate the data in that level. Data. That is the actual data you want to visualize. The structure of this data should match the structure defined in nesting levels. View. This is where you define how you want your data to be visualized. Title. This is the title of the chart. Type. This is the type of chart you want to create. Notes. This is where you can add any additional notes or comments about the chart. You can format and use the request directly. Use this formatted request to ask the GPT to create a bar chart showing the distribution of food units across different categories. A bar chart showing the distribution of food units across different categories is generated. A stacked bar chart is a type of bar chart that represents data with multiple categories stacked on top of each other, where the height of each segment represents the total value for that category. To create a stacked bar chart, you need categorical data that can be divided into different groups or categories, each with multiple subcategories. Use this prompt to create a stacked bar chart to visualize the sales of different products in three different regions over three quarters. Region represents the different regions, north, south, east. Quarters 
represents the three quarters Q1, Q2, Q3. Product A, product B and product C represent the sales of three different products. A stacked bar chart is created where the X axis represents the regions, the Y axis represents the total sales and each bar is divided into segments representing the sales of each product within each region and quarter. Pie charts are effective for illustrating the breakdown of data into different categories and their relative proportions. Enter this prompt to create a pie chart. This pie chart provides a visual representation of how sales are distributed across different product categories. Donut charts are often used to represent data as a circular chart with a hole in the center and they are useful for showing the relationship of parts to a whole. Use this prompt to create a donut chart to represent the distribution of expenses in a household budget for a month. This donut chart provides a visual representation of how the monthly budget is distributed across different categories. A line chart is a type of data visualization that is used to display data points over a continuous interval, typically with a series of data points connected by straight lines. To create a line chart to show the monthly sales of a product over a year, use this prompt. This line chart represents the monthly sales data. An area chart is a data visualization that displays quantitative data over time or across categories using filled in areas. To create area chart to visualize the monthly sales and expenses, use this prompt. Sometimes based on the data, the GPT might make a mistake in formatting the request for the chart. The GPT will try multiple times to correct the formatting based on the error and send a request again before it gives up. Ask the GPT what is the error to get the details of the error. Fix the error and send the request again. This area chart illustrates how sales and expenses have varied over the months from January to June. A stacked area chart is a graphical representation of data that shows multiple variables over time with each variable stacked on top of the others to visualize their cumulative contribution to a whole. To create a stacked area chart to visualize the yearly expenditure in different categories for the years 2021, 22 and 23, use this prompt. The chart shows how spending on food, clothes and miscellaneous has changed over these years stacked on top of each other. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.